awesome fans out there hope you guys are all doing wonderfully well a big big greetings from all of us here in africa you're probably wondering but i'm saying just to you don't worry you get to see all that in subsequent videos where i get to introduce the team chill of agriculture at home where you get to meet a whole lot of other awesome young and vibrant agriculturists doing it like no other guys today um, i'm sending you guys love from nigeria yeah i'm in nigeria if you haven't known that yet so guys well going to be looking at, at a whole lot of interesting interesting talk we are going to be having today about agriculture in africa so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go go right away click on the subscribe button i said click on the su subscribe button have you done that have you done that oh yeah you have so thank you for clicking on the subscribe button so guys we will be right back go nowhere stay clear to my channel chill out agriculture i hope we'll be right back to talk about agriculture all right guys welcome back welcome back guys so today I'm going to be looking at Africa, African population, and then the agricultural realities in Africa. Africa is growing immensely in terms of population, and the productivity of our farms extremely low. That's a big headache on its own. What that means is, let's check it out. The population is skyrocketing, and then the farm's productivity is extremely low, which means in few years to come africa is going to be faced with the reality of farming because there won't be enough food to go around and and that then brings us to the need to look at our agricultural practices to look at ways in which we then come up with with ways of improving agriculture in africa if we must reach that sustainability stage in africa and that is just the major reason why we are going to be really watching this video we want to look at ways in which african agriculture could be improved ways we can then improve the productivity of our farms because right now there's nothing to write home about i'm not happy about that for heaven's sake i'm an african but don't worry at the end of this video guys we are going to then look at ways in which africa could improve the agricultural system and then reach that level of food security there won't be need to be scared that africa will one day not have food and with this growing population challenge let's say it's not a challenge by the end of this video when we really get to talk about ways in which we can improve agricultural productivity in africa guys so stay glued and go now agriculture to a very high productivity level we need to start doing what is known as precision farming i'll tell you a little bit about precision farming and why it is so important we do it in africa precision farming is just a method or a system of farming in which the farmer ensures that the adequate amount of input is supplied to the crops no wastage at all so but but a typical african farmer is not really bothered about that he only tills the soil and puts in seed into the soil and then he applies fertilizer without really knowing the adequate amount of fertilizer to apply so when we start doing precision agriculture like every single farmer in africa starts doing precision agriculture or precision farming productivity is going to increase there won't be wastage you give the crop what the crop needs and the crop definitely will produce optimally so we're getting the first problem solved precision farming is the first way we can improve agriculture in africa you want to know the next one stay glued to this channel guys is improved soil management very very key you know with this increase in population we're looking at people are then going to acquire more land probably they use for building and there will be high competition for agricultural farmlands. So what that means is we need to then start managing our soils properly to ensure that they give us the best result. A typical African farmer practices following, bush following, where he cultivates and then because there's a whole lot of land, so he moves on to the next land. He leaves that one for a few years before he comes back to that particular one. So this might not work in a few years' time because of the increase in population. So what we then need to do as African is that we need to then manage our soils properly. Yeah, we have to manage it well. So how then do we manage our soil? We need to give the soil what the soil needs. We need to be more concerned about the health of the soil. So soil health is important. So we need to take 
start taking care of our soils. It's just like when you keep milking a cow, you don't give it the right nutrients or you don't give it the right, the right food. At a point, the cow isn't going to produce milk any longer. And that is what happens with the soil. So we need to then find ways of improving our soil. We, we make sure that we, we plant the right crops and then we have the right crop rotation system. And then if we're doing single crops, then we know we're also applying the right nutrient to these soils. By so doing, definitely our soils are going to be so so healthy and they will keep producing and producing we're going to talk about the third one the third one is going to be availability of, of finance definitely you can't run an agricultural system if you don't have money forget it if you don't have money you can acquire if you don't have money you can buy equipment and you know agriculture is equipment demanding so if you really want to do if we really want to do agriculture seriously in africa we need finance so that then goes down to our financial bodies they need to then start leasing funds or loan to farmers making this whole process is a, a whole lot easier for a common farmer to acquire and then uh, establish his farmland agriculture is capital intensive and you can rule out the roles of the financial institution in making agriculture in africa great so we need money to cultivate we need money to buy land we need money to buy tractor and a whole lot of other farm machineries we need money to do everything around agriculture but the beauty of the whole thing is agriculture is also cool so you could make a hundred percent profit at the end of the day if you get your game right so finance availability of finance is key and i tell you when you have finance in agriculture and you you get your game right you're definitely going to make it you make it definitely so um, i'm a bit bothered because in africa in africa we only cultivate during rainy seasons and that is not sustainable and that is why when you come to to a typical african country things are usually expensive during dry season and that is bad so if we must really take our agricultural game to the next level if we really want to improve agriculture in africa guys we need to improve our irrigation system irrigation is key because we have a whole lot of streams we have a whole lot of rivers in africa so all we just need to do is just get the right irrigation equipment and harness the abundance of resources we have i must tell you it africa has has resources that can support agricultural production so it's just that we haven't really taken advantage of what we have comparative advantage over yes if we really do agriculture right i tell you the likes of the european countries are going to are going to really come to africa and then have farms yeah we have a whole lot of it even ongoing currently but we have we have massive land we have the the soils that can then support a whole lot of crops varieties of crops but we haven't really got an irrigation system right so once we get that right forget it produce are going to be available all year round and uh factories are going to have a whole whole lot of raw materials to work with and things are going to be fine there will be products and everybody will be fine there won't be farming i tell you so we have a whole lot to do we need to then improve our irrigation system and make sure we have the right ir irrigation equipment for our various crops and then know the right thing to do at all times so i'm going to be talking about the last one i need you to stay glued so guys uh, welcome so so we are gradually rounding off ways of improving agriculture in africa i know it's been it's been interesting i know you know it's been interesting yes it has been interesting it has been eye-opening it has been mind-blowing so we we really looked at ways we, in which we can improve agriculture in africa i'm really sweating it's really sunny here ah, that's why i've got my glasses on i know you like it i'll get one for you but but no nah, anyways so 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 we've we've looked at ways of improving agriculture in africa we've looked at we've looked at precision farming that we need to, we need to do precision agriculture we've looked at we've looked at having the right soil maintenance management technique we've looked at that we've looked at uh, getting finance from financial bodies we've looked at that we've also looked at getting our irrigation right so what do you think the last one will be should we leave it as a question and then you drop your answer in the comment section should we do that i think we should do that no no, I'm going to tell you so you don't take the, you, you don't make the wrong guess. So the last thing we need to do is we have to get our story system right. Once we get our story system right, then farmers will not be scared to produce because they know that when they produce, their produce will be safe. Yeah, it will be safe because that's a challenge here in Africa. We produce and at the end of the day, the produce get bad because we do not have the right storage materials. And that is that is a headache on its own. 
in subsequent videos we are then going to be looking at diy do it yourself we are then going to be looking at agriculture i'm, I'm definitely going to be showing you how we do agriculture here in africa some of, of introducing you to some crops we cultivate in africa then how these crops are being cultivated we are going to look at all this and also very soon i'm going to dive into into vegetables i show you some vegetables we do here in africa and also i get to show you some awesome awesome things that we do in africa we don't just produce we we, we we love agriculture because yeah fine the problem we've had for quite a long time in africa is that we've done agriculture as a way of life we've really not done agriculture as business so we're then taking agriculture as business and then this is the transition time and that is why it's a, it's a bit a bit a bit tough for the farmers because they're getting used to agriculture as business and not as a way of life like we've always taken agriculture to be here in africa so guys stick stick glue to to my channel i need you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet i also need you to click on the share button share my videos to people like my video as well anthony david is name aka chidav and i am saying do have an awesome week ahead Bye.